was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could have. Okay, so we're going to uh, spread the sucker out. So what I'm doing is I'm just pressing uh, into the dough, uh, leaving the out. Try to leave the outside, like try to leave like a little crust. That's that's how you get a crust on a pizza. Um, it sounds really obvious and really whatever, but. If you were to use like a rolling pin or something, um, the likelihood of you getting a, uh, what do you call it, like a, like a crust um, is far less than if you do like this like hand method where you try to keep the crust intact. And then there's also multiple ways to stretch the dough out. Um, depending on the type of dough, I will, uh, try various methods. So the first method is obviously just just pressing it out with your fingers until you can press no more and then flipping it over doing the same thing and this is gonna be a smaller pizza so um, it's it's not gonna get that much bigger but another method is to do like the the dangle, the dingleberry dangle. Uh -huh. uh, you just kind of let gravity work, <coughs> do its magic. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This dough is a little on the colder side. I would probably want this to be a little warmer um, next time. All right, do you want to try to stretch this out? Sure. Can you put that. your fingers all over it? Sure. So you were just like pressing out like this? Nope. Okay. Can I use my knuckles? If you want. Okay. Use whatever whatever digits you want to use. You can use your thumb if you want. My thumb. How much of a crust do I need to leave? Uh it's a, it's really up to you. But yeah. I mean it's gonna it's gonna stretch out. It's not gonna the the crust isn't necessarily, you're not, you're probably not going to see the, the like big puffy crust because that's going to happen in the oven, but I think as long as you leave a little bit of dough kind of like untouched on the sides, that should be enough. I feel like I'm not like getting very far with it. It feels like it's like springing back. When right. It's because, it. Well, and partially it is because it's cold. Okay. Um, the warmer the dough, the better, the more, the, the, the easier it is to um, stretch out, but also, it's also the type of flour they use. This dough has mostly bread flour in it, and then some double zero flour, so it's a mixture. Is um, double zero more double, stretchy? Double zero is a softer, uh, it's got less, a lot less gluten in it, so the more gluten you have in your flour, the less like mm -hmm. soft it's gonna be. The more, the more stretchy. Right. right. The more like it's springy. Right, okay. So, that's good. And then you can see, like, if you hold it up, you can kind of, kind of see, see through it a little bit. Um, so, you're doing a good job, baby. I am? Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of you. Can I do the thing? You got it. So, that, that, so that's, that's the next thing. Do you want me to show you what I'm doing? Or, I mean, you're kind of doing it. So basically, once you get it to, like, a point where it's, where it's like, stretchy enough, where you can, we can get both of your hands under it, you can kind of do one of these things where you um, kind of cup your hands or make fists basically, and then kind of like bounce the dough around like in a circular fashion while stretching. Um, like that. And then you can do that. Until you get it to a point where you want. So this is this is probably the last the last type of stretching you want to do to the dough because it gets pretty thin. Uh, if you ever go to like a pizzeria or whatever, uh, you'll see that uh, pizzeriolas will will do this obviously in a much better uh, fashion. <laughs> I'm just uh, I'm just trying to do like and the dough gets really stretchy. Yeah. So I mean you're pretty you're almost there. This feels like, I wonder how close this does, this feels to like those rubber, uh, those rubber pizzas that the pizza, the yeah. pizza tossing, like, So you can, yeah. so, you, so you can get like, um, probably, they're probably silicone, uh, 
Yeah, they're definitely some kind of rubber. Yeah, that, sure. that they, they like practice their tricks on or whatever. So, I mean, this is probably a good, let's see, what does it look like? Yeah, it's pretty like... This is the thin spot. Yeah, there. that's fine. Okay, so this is probably, this is this is good. Okay, good job, dude. I did it! You did it. Okay. Okay, so the next, so once you get it done to that, to that stage, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna get the pizza peel. Okay. You go ahead and get that pizza peel. All right, so we have pizza peel, and I put some semolina flour on the pizza peel so that it releases easier into the oven, onto the pizza stone. Otherwise, you risk, with the same thing with, with working it, the pizza out onto the surface with the flour, you risk it sticking to the um, peel. And once that happens, it's kind of a nightmare to get it off. So you wanna make sure your pizza peel is well Lubricated with uh, semolina flour. Uh -huh. You can also use cornmeal flour. Um, the reason I use semolina flour is that it doesn't really have a taste, whereas cornmeal flour has like a corny taste. So if you you're like a sweet, not into that, you get like a sweet crust. Uh, not sweet. It's just it's it's a very distinct cornmeal is very a very distinctive flavor. So okay, both semolina you have to worry about. It. So put it, just put, put it on the thing. Okay. The only one who could ever need me. Was the son of a pizza man The only boy who could ever feed me Was the son of a pizza man Yes he was, he was